<clears throat> All freaking right, party people. What is going on? Happy Wednesday. So it's your boy, Coach Tyler, Coach Nate. We are out here and we want to drop some fuego for you today. Um, today we're going to be going over motivation versus discipline. Ooh, and one of my favorite topics. I'm telling you, this one's going to be really important because I would say nine times out of 10, when people come to us, they're like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm not very motivated right now. I'm not, I don't feel motivated. And this is something that it kind of frustrates me because you don't need to be motivated to see results. You don't need to be motivated to be successful on your journey. And I promise you, I am barely motivated to do any of this stuff. <laughs> At the end of the day, the motivation, this is how I describe motivation to people. Motivation, I'm gonna just get right into this. I'm gonna tell you right now, like we're, 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 we're getting right into it today. And so motivation is an emotion. It comes and goes. It's never permanent. Tell me, have you ever been, like raise your hand right now or fucking comment right now, go in the comments right now and say me, if you've ever been motivated, all the time and we're talking all day like the whole entire day not even a whole day maybe even a whole week oh a whole week then okay or a whole yeah. month or maybe the last six months i yeah. promise you that's not no one's gonna comment me why because it's it's not it's not true there's never been a time in your life where you've been always motivated and i think people have this misconception where they need to be motivated to start they need to be motivated to uh, be active. They need to be motivated to see results. They need to be motivated to continue on their journey. And then none of that is true. And it, it's unfortunate because that's what stops people is that belief. And that belief is what's stopping you from seeing the results you desire. So at the end of the day, we have to learn and we have to understand that motivation comes and goes. There is never a time in your life where it's going to be with you all the time. Relying on motivation is a failing strategy. It's a failing strategy. Like Nate, how often have clients come to us and they'll be like, all right, I, you know, I was really motivated. I killed, I killed it, kicked ass for one month, two months, maybe three months. And then what? They come to they us. Just die. It just dies. Yeah. The, the feeling dies off. They either hate what they're doing. They're, they stop seeing results or they just quit altogether. Why? Because it's, it, it's not motivating anymore. And it's unfortunate because they were right on track. They just started building the habits. You know, it takes 21 days to build a habit. And if, if they would have just pushed past that just a little bit, they probably would have built the most important thing when it comes to seeing results, which is discipline. And having that discipline is the most important thing. And so just to cap off my explanation of motivation and to kind of bring us into discipline, this is what I like to describe to people. You know when you get in your car every day and you go take your key, you know, and you put in the ignition and you turn it, or maybe you hop in your car and you just push your button, whatever it may be, right? When you do that, what happens is there's a little spark. And that little spark starts your engine. Okay, if you have a Tesla, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> just listen. If, if you... If you do that, you start your car, right? And that's great and all, but you don't need to do that to keep the car running, right? The spark starts the car. The spark is motivation. It gets the ball rolling and that's great. But if you don't have discipline, which is everything else in the motor, everything else, your battery, your, your, your oil, your transmission, everything else in the car to keep it running, to actually take you from point A to point B, it's not going to run. I don't know if you've experienced it in your life, but you probably turn the key one time and it turns over and then it chides. Well, that's what happens when you get motivated for a second and then you fall off. It's temporary. It comes and goes. And so what we want to do is if when we do feel that motivation, when you do have that motivation, use it to your advantage, push a little extra, push yourself a little bit more, be a little more consistent. But when it dies off, that's when you rely on your discipline. And so I'm gonna dive into discipline. 
Because discipline is not an emotion. It's a skill. It's something that you can build. It's like playing soccer. When you start playing, or any sport really, when you start a sport, you suck. You flat out suck. When I started playing soccer, I played for eight years. I played semi-professionally. I got up to a really high level. When I first started, my coach straight up told me I suck. But I worked really hard. I, tr I, I was the super try hard on the team. I just tried as hard as I could and did the best I could every practice, knowing that if I was disciplined, I could get better. Within two years, I became the captain of my team. Not because I had, I was super motivated, but because I was disciplined. I did the extra work. I went on runs on my rest days. I did those things to become a better soccer player. Don't run, by the way, in your workout game. That's, that's a whole other topic. We'll talk about that another time. Anyways, my whole point here is that it's a skill. You can build it. You can improve it. And it only gets better over time as you improve your ability to stay disciplined. Okay, how do I build this skill, Tyler? I, I need to know. How do I get better at being disciplined? Well, it starts with number one, believing in yourself. If you don't believe you deserve to see these results, if you don't believe you deserve to look a certain way, to feel a certain way, to have a certain type, level of confidence, to you know find that man or woman of your dreams, if you don't believe in yourself, you're never, you will never achieve it. If you don't believe you can see your six pack, if you don't believe you can be happy, you'll never be happy, you'll never see your six pack. So such with the belief. Those beliefs lead to the thoughts, the thoughts and the things that you understand how to get there. The thoughts on what it takes to get there. Those thoughts lead to actions. Those actions are what you actually do. The actions that take you from point A to point B. The actions that move your ass from your seat right now into the gym. The actions lead to momentum. That momentum will carry on. That momentum continues. The momentum doesn't start the car. The momentum keeps the car running. So you can get from your point A to point B. You can arrive at your final destination, which is a lifelong happiness, lifelong fitness, lifelong health that we strive for. I'll tell you, today for example, I got to the gym, I had a one hour break. I was up at four, no, 3.45 in the morning. I get to work at 5 a.m. I had a cancellation at six. I knew I was gonna have no other time today to work out. What did I do? You know what I did? I did not wanna work out. I really didn't. I looked in the mirror and I was like, fuck this. I am not gonna work out right now. <laughs> but, but then I remembered. I had a little memory jog of why am i here well i want to live the healthiest happiest and most confident life i want to be the best version of myself that's my ultimate goal and i know i feel better i have more energy i'm a nicer person i'm a better coach when i work out so i didn't need to be motivated that didn't motivate me i use my discipline to say, I don't really have a choice because I know how much better I'm going to feel after. Let me tell you, that 45 minute workout I got in, because it took me 15 minutes to like deal with all the demons in my brain, talk to this devil on my shoulder and this angel over here telling me what to do. I started to realize like, what am I doing? I got this. After my workout, I felt like a million bucks. You can ask my 7am client. She was like, dude, what are you, you, you snort some Coke in the bathroom? Like what, what kind of crack you taking? I was like, I just, I just had a great workout. You never know that like you sometimes like Nate, tell me some of don't lie. Have <laughs> some of your best workouts been when you feel the least motivated? Yes. Always, it's always, so always. It, it doesn't make sense. Almost. It's like, it's like usually you you you're like I really don't want to be here, and then you start it, and you're like, holy shit! I Honestly, that's what it is. It's the starting point when you start getting the ball rolling. Then it's the oh my god, like I got this, I got this. Because again, we're we're we've developed that discipline skill 
little baby steps and the motivation actually comes from when you're working now it's like damn i feel good i want i want the rest of this and, and listen i'm not gonna lie to you there are days oh there are days we've had them nate we've had them i had one today i'm not gonna lie to you i had one today i didn't even want to work out but i was yeah. like you know what i have to prove something i want to be the healthiest version of myself and i want to show people even though i don't want to do it i'm gonna do it yeah and and it's like at the end of the day you know I, I can't lie to you guys like i've had many days where you know i go to start my workout i start my workout i'm like literally i'm not feeling it today my energy's low my i don't feel like myself i'm not i'm not feeling it. and you know what i do one i either push through and sometimes that's great but other times i call it quits and, but instead of just leaving the gym or instead of walking outside I go, go to the treadmill and I go walk for 15 minutes because some movement's better than nothing. And I was already there, so I might as well do something. And I think a lot of people get discouraged when they feel this way and they just like break down or they have a hard time kind of shifting that mindset. And it's like, just because you can't get your full workout in, it doesn't mean you're a failure. It doesn't mean you, you lost. It doesn't mean it's a bad day. It just simply means it's time to shift your intention. Maybe today was the day that you focus on your mobility. Maybe it's the day you just forget your program. Go have some fun. What do you love to do? Do you love to run? Go run. Do you like to walk and listen to a podcast or your favorite song? Go for it. I'm sure Nate's done this where he, just, he loves house music. He might just turn on some house music and go for a walk outside and get some sunlight. You know, if, if you're not feeling the best, like by all means, take that day to focus on you. Health isn't just looking sexy in the mirror, looking good naked. Sometimes health is just feeling happy. Sometimes health is, you know, sitting down with your family and enjoying a piece of cake because that's part of your quality of life. And we've talked about this on one of our past calls. I think it was the uh, five steps to achieve and sustain fat loss. One of the last points, the actually the last point, which if you haven't watched it, please go, go ahead and do that now. But let me tell you, the last one was the most important, which is focusing on the quality of life. And I think the root of quality of life is your discipline. Being disciplined to wake up every day and get to work on time. Being disciplined to show up when you are the least motivated. Showing up for your husband, your wife, your child, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your family, when you don't want to. That's what's going to make you successful. That's what's going to take you to the promised land, your end goal. One of my biggest examples would be waking up at 5 a.m. every single day. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. But guess what? I have a job to do and someone's counting on me. So I do it for them. Yeah. And that's a great example. And like, he's not motivated to do it. I'm sure he wakes up and he's like, God damn it, turn this alarm off. But, <laughs> but... Uh, yep. But he's developed his skill of discipline. And also, he knows he's not doing it for himself, he's doing it for someone else. And that discipline of reminding himself why he's doing it is extremely important. He does it for someone else. He does it because he also knows once he does do it, after his session, he's fulfilled. He's like, wow, I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I got up. Now, after that first hour, you're like, okay, let's kill it the rest of the day. And sometimes you're just like, all right, you know, I'm still dragging ass, but it's okay because you know what? He's helping other people. And maybe you don't do, you know, maybe you're not a personal trainer and that's fine, but you're doing something for the greater good. You're doing something to benefit your health. You're doing something for your quality of life. And so I think the moral of what we're trying to get to here is just simply understanding that discipline is a skill. You can build it, you can improve it. And I think this kind of even comes back to like your nutrition and your diet. It's like people, people have this um, misconception of, you know, they have one bad day. And <laughs> Nate, what happens most often when a client just is like on point, they're killing it, they're motivated. And they're doing great, but they have one day where, you know, it's like their kid, their family, you know, one of their, one of their loved ones birthdays, they go enjoy themselves, right? 
mm-hmm. what happens to them mentally? It depends, honestly. At the end of the day, that depends. Some people can take it and move on from it. And some people are like, damn, I cheated this weekend. Damn, I don't feel like doing this anymore. And again, they've lost the spark. That's yep. and and it's unfortunate because on the the first group or the second group that you mentioned, it's like, don't be hard on yourself. Like we're not perfect. Literally, my family came over the other day. For, for dinner, my little brother's moving. And so we're celebrating and, you know, spending time with him. And yeah, of course I had a couple beers. Doesn't mean I'm going to go on a binger for the rest of the week. It's like, just because you have one bad day, it does not ruin your week. It does not ruin your progress. One bad day is not going to kill you. It's not going to destroy your progress. It's not going to ruin the fact that you're working towards your end goal. So don't get caught up on a mistake. Don't get caught up on one small mistake or failure or one small thing that's gonna that could lead to the other person which is the person who wait i messed up there well let me rewind there is one person that's gonna do the bad thing the wrong thing which is let that determine their future which is i made a mistake i'm gonna just fuck up for the rest of the week or whatever for the rest of the week i'm just gonna eat whatever because i already messed up no that's wrong don't do that. That's not discipline. You're focusing on your motivation. You're unmotivated. So you're just going to kill your week. That's wrong. Don't do that. Why? Why would you, why would you destroy your momentum? Remember your momentum, your beliefs, your thoughts, your action, your moto, your momentum. Why would you ruin that? Just get right back on track. You don't need to punish yourself for it. You don't need to destroy your body the next day, like and work off. No, don't do that. Just go right back to what you were doing. It's okay. It's totally fine. We, I've been there. I've done this to myself. I had one bad day and I used to way back in the day, I used to go just go run, go for a run and or go destroy my body the next day in the gym, like punish myself, but that's wrong. Why do you need to do that? We all make mistakes. We're human. That's part of the human experience. We make mistakes. We're not perfect. Don't expect yourself to be perfect. You're going to fail. So focus on your behaviors. Focus on building the skill. Once you build the skill of discipline, it's going to carry over to every other aspect of your life. Your life's going to be easier. You're going to be happier. You're going to be more confident. You're going to feel better in your clothes. You're going to feel better in your relationships. You're going to feel better around family. You're going to start getting compliments. There are, there's your sex life's going to be better. Your emotional and physical health's going to be better. Like, that's the 10 things right there I just named. There's 10, 20, 30, 40 more things that are gonna be positive changes in your life from simply doing one thing, improving the skill of discipline. And so if you've made it this far in the replay of this, I want you to do me one thing. Go into the comments, give me a huge favor. Go into the comments. I want you to comment below one of the biggest takeaways from today's call. Tell me one thing that you learned. Tell me one thing that's gonna help you improve your skill of discipline. One thing that's going to improve your ability to reach your end goal. And then after that, I want you to do right below that. I want you to share ultimately what your end goal is. Is it just being happy? It's being healthy? Is it lifetime of health and fitness? Is it feeling your best all the time? Whatever it may be, I would love for you to share with me and the group what your ultimate goal is. Because if you have that in mind, or if you find yourself unmotivated, you can go back and look at it and remind yourself why you started, why you're working on the skill, and why you need and want to be disciplined on your journey. So It's a process. Be patient with yourself. Forgive yourself when you make mistakes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. And and, and one of the one of the things that I've noticed is um don't start from zero to a hundred like super quick. Oh, this is this is that is the one thing we don't advise anyone to do because you're gonna try it and it's not gonna work out. Start slow. 
Start very, very slow. For example, you didn't cook last night? Cook a meal today. Try that. Only one. You Only one. Yeah. Just one meal. Start there. And then build on from that. Yep. It's like, uh, like I was saying earlier about playing soccer. It's like I didn't learn, you know, my Ronaldinho and my Ronaldo and my my skills. I didn't learn those things right away. Like, literally, I would have to pass the ball to a partner and back from like literally 10 feet away a hundred times for the whole first year of playing soccer. It was literally just practicing the most basic skill in soccer. And then after a year, I improved it. It's like when you start fitness, people think like, oh, I got to go balls to the wall. I got to start running. I got to start hitting the gym five days a week. I got to, no, 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 no. That's not sustainable. I only work out three times a week. Nate only works out three times a week. Why? Because it's sustainable. Mm -hmm. I know that every week I can commit to training three times a week. So that's why I do it. For you, that might be one. That might be two. Stick to what you can commit to, not today, not tomorrow, but the rest of your life. Ooh, what you can commit to. I like that. Find that that one thing. Find that one thing you can commit to. If you could only make one cook, home cooked meal a night, I mean, one home cooked meal a week, start there. Build that discipline. Build that skill of being consistent with it and then add. It's, it's like one of the easiest ways for you to build upon and become successful long term. I started like that. I started making one meal a week. I started making two, then three, then four. Now I eat dinner at home almost seven nights a week. Like rarely do I eat out. Why? Because I don't, it doesn't make me happy. It doesn't fulfill me. It doesn't help me reach my angle. I mean, sure, I like to eat out. Sure, I like food, but I also know I'm going to be a lot more happy and a lot more satisfied after having a home cooked meal. And my digestion will be better. That's, that's a whole other topic again. But at the end of the day, guys, um, focus on the skill of discipline. You're going to be a whole lot more successful. And, um, like I said, comment below those two things. And if you have any questions, please reach out. We are here to help you. We literally do these calls to help you. And we want to just simply provide as much value as possible. We don't expect your money. We don't want your money. We literally just want to give you free advice and help on your journey so you can be successful. We only let people into this group that are serious. We only let people in this group that want to change. We only let people in this group who care to learn? Literally, you see our shirts? Nate, let me see your little shirt right there. Boom. See what this stands for? This is a TNT. This stands for be taught, not told. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you do this, do that. I'm here to teach you. And I want to teach you how to implement these things. And that's exactly what we're talking about, about learning skills, about starting small and building upon it. And at the end of the day, that's what's going to get you to your end goal. So, Focus on discipline. I hope this was a valuable call. Thank you for watching this. And uh, I look forward to the next one. If you guys have a specific topic you want to hear about or see, please comment, post in the group, and um, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.